Final countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage UAP décollage. Schedule at 18.39 local, Ariane 5 beginning her mission, lifting off perfectly and beautifully from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot Tous of fire les à bord sont streaking through the clouds as the DDO says all is well on board, beginning her mission, the second for Ariane space this year, with two new telecom satellites for major regional operators. The two boosters are now providing 90, that's 9-0 percent of the thrust, propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity. 775 tons is our mass at liftoff. She's burning 5 tons of fuel per second, 2.5 tons in each booster burning per second, and the core stage burning another 300 kilos every second. Ariane 5 is now following the program and the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon see. We're in the first of four flight phases. We'll be describing each in turn and in detail, so you can follow Ariane as she heads east across the Atlantic. Right now, the Tous first flight phase, the single calme. Vulcan core stage engine and the two boosters burning together. The boosters will burn their 240 tons in just over two minutes, and they're the first to be extinguished. You'll hear the DDO call out that milestone in about 20 seconds. We are 15 kilometers from the pad here, but even here you can feel the sensation of liftoff. If you're watching from the closest viewing station, less than four, five kilometers from the pad, you can really hear the noise and see the light. And you probably will be able to see the burnout of the boosters that Looks like the burnout of the boosters right there. Pick up on the camera. Separation des étages, accélération imposante. DDO confirms it. You see the two orange points of light falling away on either side, and the white light in the middle. That's the core stage burning. The boosters give you an idea what it looks like. Fall uh, 500 kilometers from shore La in a protected area. Nominal. There's a second booster out of camera range on the left, of course. French Guiana was in part chosen as a base for its opening on the water. We'll have a little more on that subject later on. For now, on the bottom of your screen on the left, our altitude approaching 100 kilometers. On the right, our speed, 2 kilometers per second. The speed we need for satellite separation, roughly 9 kilometers per second. So keep your eyes on the numbers. And when we near the region of 8 or 9 kilometers per second, you'll know we are getting close to satellite separation. There is fairing separation right on time, revealing to the elements the blue part is the our first passenger. Separation de la coiffe. Sky Brazil 1. Separation is of the fairing is given by two pyrotechnic systems, one horizontal and one vertical. Again, what it looks like up there. The other half is out of camera range on the right. We can separate the fairing now because we're out of the dense layers of the atmosphere at over 100 kilometers up. There's neither friction nor heating which could disturb the passengers, and we also discard any dead weight whenever possible to maximize performance. The fairing weighs almost two and a half tons, so we can get rid of it now. Début de la manoeuvre en roulis. We're into the second powered flight phase. The boosters have done their work. Only the single lower stage engine still burning now. It'll burn for about nine minutes in all. Our speed is important now, and that's the role of the main stage. Cryogenic propellant is not only highly efficient, but provides a push that can last for a long time. You have noticed that there are different propulsion systems on Ariane 5. Cryogenics, as used in the main stage, are more efficient than solid propellant, which is used in the boosters. Basically speaking, solids are for getting us off the ground, away from the pull of the Earth, while cryogenics are for more precision orienting of a vehicle. 
And of course, they can also allow a stage to be reignited in another version of Ariane 5. Ariane 5 is the heavy lift launcher. The other two members of the family, Soyuz, lifting middle-sized payloads, two and three tons, and Vega, the light lift vehicle for missions of one ton, roughly. Coming up, hopefully, is the first of a few launch replays. Here's the first one. You can re-experience those intense moments as Ariane 5 took off from the pad just over five minutes ago. We have cameras at several of the half dozen observation sites that are stationed across the base here, and they can furnish us furnish us with shots from different angles. Here's another. We should have more replay footage later on. The closest observation site is called Toucan. Many of the VIPs are out there tonight. We're in the second powered flight phase, the single engine core stage burning. The core stage measures 5.4 meters in diameter, 31 meters long, roughly the same height as the two boosters on either side. And it burns 175 tons of propellant powered by one single Vulcan engine burning the liquid hydrogen and the liquid oxygen.